and a welcome to Making the Jedi Knight, Temujin Chanel. And having had some okay success with some green stuff recently, I decided just to keep up um, because about to start a Clone Wars, Star Wars, FFG, RPG, how many acronyms, um, campaign. And decided that really wanted my players to have their actual Jedi characters. So I'm going to set about building them, that will be the best ever. going to be scaled to fit though. Uh, we're using Imperial Assault miniatures, so they're going to be scaled with that as opposed to with Legion. Although, might not matter. Um, and so this is going to be a basilisk. Uh, if you've watched the Clone Wars anime, or 3D CG animated show, um, Pong Kral. Think upon Krell, the horrible, nasty Jedi. But this guy's going to be a bit different. Um, he's going to have a blast rifle and also two sabers, as opposed to two double-handed sabers. And that's because he's gone war leader. So he's he's going to have um, he's going to be blast orientated as well as saber orientated. So I'm going to start bulking this up. As you can see, I already made the skeleton. Uh, the legs are one piece folded, and each arm like each left and right arm pair so like the bottom pair and the top upper pair are um one piece of fuse wire and then it's just joined together with a big bundle of green stuff so i'm just gonna have to start bulking this out and i'm gonna start with the belly and chest and work out from there here are the drawings for timogen chanel the basilisk and that is a play on basilisk i believe so, not the easiest form to deal with, and so in terms of getting the posture right and dealing with the forearms, ended up settling on uh, this form here. So, this form here shows him holding the rifle almost as if ready. I uh, wanted to have the face reveal, but it keeps the arms tucked in. Now. The only thing is, and the reason for the pan down is, if I now go back up, if you look at the guy in the top left, what we have is we have saber pistols in each hand, um, because he wants to be a war leader, and he was talking about multiple sabers, and I need to talk to him about this because we'll sort it out. But this is the, um, ooh, I think it's the DH fifteen blaster which is the clone blaster the clone trooper blaster so it's a sort of a long rifle blaster uh, before the stormtroopers get their short blasters and here we have last sort of lightsaber blaster pistol with the curved hilt so it's almost like if you think sort of pirates um or red coats etc if you know the sort of 1600s black powder weapons musket era and you think of the pistols that they use there, so it's almost like one of those pistols uh, where the lightsaber is built into the pistol. And if you look at modern fencing swords, um, some of they quite a lot of them use pistol grips, so it's it's taking that inspiration. But going to be not using the posture you see there. Going to be using this posture here, uh, or something more like this posture, so that he looks like more like he's at the ready. Possibly even have him aiming down the barrel of the gun. All of these things have not quite been decided yet. He's been um, problematic, shall we say, in terms of just making decisions. Because, to be honest with you, I'd quite like to make like five or six of them. Um, but time, 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 always time. Here we have our first pass with the green stuff then. We've put in two sets of pectoral muscles. One for the lower set of arms, one for the upper set of arms. Uh, this set was put in last. This set was put in before this set. And then the six pack of muscles, which are the abdomen here. These were put in before putting in these pectoral muscles. Pectoral? Pectoral. Uh, here we've got the neck muscles running to the arms. These are the last things put in after doing the back as well. So just something to consider when doing all this is... Um, Basically, whatever you want to be at the back, you want to build first. Or whatever you want closest to the middle, you want to build first. And the reason for building all this is to bulk everything out right. So also, we've given him his bum cheeks, 
his hips, his hips were put in before his bum. Uh, we've got his back muscles, so one set of back muscles or lats in this case for the lower set of arms, another set of lats for the upper set of arms. And then the top of the spine slash where the neck connects with the base of the skull. So you've got the three bits which will link into the base of his head, so we've got a connection point there. And that's where everything will be attached to. So I'm going to do a second pass and get him finished fleshed out. The other thing that's worth taking note of at this moment in time is not too fussed about getting fingerprints on it. It's not perfect by any means. Um, if you were doing sort of like naked bodies as such, this would be the time to be working a lot more carefully than this. This is really just to supply the correct bulk so that when the robes are applied to the mini, they'll come out like the right shape. With the second part of the green stuff then, you can see building basically um, thighs and biceps. But with the second part, pass, We've almost got the basic structure complete. So the third pass should have all of this structure complete and then I'll be into um, the beginnings of making robes over the top and then also making weapons and putting weapons into hands. So the third pass should see us ready to move on to the next stage of building. Here we go then, that's the third and final pass, blocked in his ankles and his wrists, uh, also put in a blob for the sort of beginnings of where his thick neck will emerge to form his head. This guy's going to be a basilisk, which is obviously a, uh, a derivative of basilisk, uh, and if you actually look at them they look kind of like upright basilisks. And so that's all of my fleshing out done. Next time we will move on to sabres and guns and getting them in his hands. Hope it's been some interest to you too and any green stuff work you're doing is going really well. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and take care. Bye bye.